All right, Earth Signs, it is your turn. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, let's see what's going on with you today. This is a weekend reading for you guys. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So feel free to um, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Don't, don't go down that road of trying to jam yourself in, okay? Just take whatever comes through these messages is for you, since they are general messages, okay? Okay. All right. Let's see what's happening here. Next week, I will be doing the Multiple Revenue Streams class uh, with the North Node. I have put that together so you can understand what you're doing here and then what to do with it, okay? <laughs> Should appeal to you guys very much. Practicality, right? Indeed. All right, Earth Signs, what's going on? The hero of your cosmic journey, Ace of Swords right there. Authenticity, important. Each evolutionary turn requires you to give up who you think you are. This one is has always been challenging to me because it's indicating that our ego, and I don't mean that in a negative way, I just, we all have e our ego, otherwise you would never get out of bed in the morning. So this has to do with who we think we are might be impeding who we, who we are becoming. Okay. And uh, yes, ancestor. This is an ancestor message. Okay. So I feel like one or some collective of ancestors are saying, hey, it's all right to get to the next step. It's all right to evolve through to get to who you're becoming. Okay. And I just think that when the ancestors are coming through this loudly, it does have to do with something coming up that is going to show you more about who you are, more about how you are the hero of your own cosmic journey. I think there is a, um, a feeling I'm getting that somebody, I'm not sure which one of you this is, but somebody is not evolving because they're terrified about uh, money or practicality in some way. So they're not stepping in to their true authenticity. And the ancestors are saying, that's the courageous act right now. So that's why it is it is a little frightening to step into who you truly are if you are um, concerned about temporal things, concerned about 3D things, about money and about practicality, that can be blocking you. All right. So six of wands, sometimes this is a victory card, but sometimes you can see it as ego, uh, as like I win, I, you know, to be seen or I want to be seen or I want to, uh, you know, have people see me succeeding. And yeah, <laughs> eight of pentacles. No kidding. The moon. Seven of cups. I think your work is different than what you think it is. Nine of swords, four of swords, eight of cups. Look at the eights here. I like that. Three of Cups, Judgment, Ten of Pentacles. So some of you who, who take my tarot class, um, we talk quite a bit about... We talk quite a bit about the numbers, okay? So in this reading, we have six, seven, eight, and nine. So you can see how it's coming to uh, um, the next level, right? getting to the place where we're pulling that sword out of the stone and really understanding our own authenticity. I think who you thought you were is not who you're becoming and who you're becoming is something really super successful. However, you have to let go of who you were before because it's not the frequency of this level of financial stability. It's not. So that has to really go. And I like the progression is so quick here. Actually, we have four and we, there's no fives in here yet. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> so what's missing is the five. And in numerology, fives are about change. What I'm seeing here is how can I negotiate change in such a way that I can jump over that uncomfortable moment or that uncomfortable time? When I have to let go of who I was and there's a, there's a void for a second, a blip in time where you're neither who you were nor who you're becoming. It's a third entity. It's a separate type of person that's in that transition. And that can be a really scary place for a lot of people because they don't know who they are. And if it goes on for longer than a weekend, 
sometimes people freak out. Okay. But what's missing here is that actual moment in time when we release. So here we go with the seven of cups. It's like, I don't know who I'm becoming, but I'm starting to see the outlines of it. I'm starting to see what the choices are. I can't really see how they play out, right? She's not looking inside the cup and seeing the vision of where, if you choose this one up here, what that's going to become or this one or that one, right? And so moon, there's a lot of, um, is it Neptune square moon that's happening right now? I think so. I think that was happening. Um, it might've happened yesterday, but there might've been some lingering uh, or there might be some lingering energy there. And like I said, this is a weekend reading. So if it happens for longer than a weekend, it may feel um, really scary. So there's when you're doing the moon, when you're looking at the moon, the moon has phases, right? The moon, every single day, it shifts into different phases. Hourly, it shifts into different phases. And there's something called void, of course, where the moon in the void, of course, um, phase means that nothing can happen. There is, it's like a rest in music. Just because there's no note being played doesn't mean that rest isn't important to the overall structure of the music. It is. It's purposeful. And this moment in time when you're kind of like on the Four of Swords, when you're like, okay, I don't know what this is. Nine of Swords. I don't know what the next thing is. And I'm really worried about it. This is when you release being worried about it and you allow yourself to approach the Five of Swords. You allow yourself to approach, um, you know, taking your Ace of Swords out of your pocket and saying, this is who I am. I'm going to say that this is a better Five of Swords or this feels like the Five of Swords energy to me. But Five of Swords, if you pull the Five of Swords, it's about other people doing stuff behind your back. And I don't think that's going on. I think this Five of Swords is you moving from a place of, healing to a place of more authenticity. And there can be things going on around you that are making things more confusing, right? We have the moon card up here. Things can be more confusing and it's just part of the, it's part of this process so that you can walk on. All right. You can walk on. And when I said that thing about the void in the middle there between who you were and who you're becoming as a third entity, there it is, the three of cups. And, you know, we talk a lot about third parties on this channel. This third party is the void, the moment in time when you're not who you were and you're not who you're becoming. But what fills it up is this beautiful uh, judgment and 10 of pentacles. There's something about stepping into that four of swords and ace of swords that makes you remember that you have done this before. You have done this before, been there, done that, got the t-shirt, got the bumper sticker, bumper sticker. And, <laughs> and the ancestors are trying to remind you, you can do this. All right, you got this. And I like that because we're going towards the Ten of Pentacles. So I'm going to clarify one or two things here. Um, I am going to clarify the Seven of Cups. Knight of Wands, King of Swords, Six of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles, Six and Sevens, right? You're at Sixes and Sevens. Have you ever heard that, that um, cliche? <laughs> it means things are a little bit out of sorts. It's, it's, not, it's not quite going yet. But I think the fact that you are seeing this and you're seeing the potential for where you're going, I think there's a lot of potential here. The ancestors are trying to break in, all right? The Six of Cups is waiting for messages. It's somebody who is looking for clarity. And I do feel like the clarity is, so instead of just choosing blindly, right? Just choosing blindly. I feel like you're going to be offered, see how she's offering the Ace of Pentacles? I feel like you're gonna be offering a chance to stay and hold on to those Six of Pentacles, which isn't progress or go towards the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords, which is progress, all right? You are going in that direction. Now, um, Catalyst Energy. Wow. 
thank you. <laughs> Catalyst energy. It's got to be practical. So it's one of those things where you're like, yeah, this is my true self. Okay, Ace of Swords, I can, you know, these are ideas and everything like that. And I'm afraid to step out on a ledge because of ideas. But this Ace of Pentacles that's being offered to you is tangible. It is tangible. So that's for, that is a, uh, a lovely opportunity that's coming in. So let's see where we go. Um, it's possible that this is coming all completely within you, that this is an inside job, an inside game, right? Because I'm, I'm, I'm seeing Pisces, I'm seeing Aquarius, and I'm seeing Sag. But let's continue on and see where we go. Okay, so link is below Earth sign if you want to see where this goes. I'll see you over there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.